In this video, I will show you how you can make a backup or a snapshot of your existing WSL Linux distribution. In a previous video, I showed you how you can import any Linux distribution in WSL and also how you can create one from a Docker container. We will use the same method also in this video, but this time for snapshotting. Creating a WSL Linux distribution from a Docker container is a little bit different, so if you're interested how that one works, you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. But before we start snapshotting, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I am now here on the official WSL website and in this video I will assume that you already installed WSL and that you have a WSL distribution running. If you don't, it's really easy to do, just call this command here in PowerShell as administrator and it should install WSL and then you can choose one of the distros from this command and install it using this command right here. I already have a Linux distribution running so I will skip this step and scroll down to this section right here that we also used in the previous video and here we will use a tar file as a snapshot file. So we will archive the whole WSL distribution into a tar file. Afterwards we can use this file to create a clone of the existing Linux distribution or if something goes wrong we can use it as a backup snapshot. Now let's see how this works, I will open the terminal. Here is my PowerShell terminal and now let's list my installed Linux distributions WSL-L-V. Now as you can see Ubuntu is my default WSL distribution and I also installed Parrot OS in addition. In this video I will create a snapshot of Parrot OS, so let's log in. WSL-D-Parrot. I'm now logged in in Parrot OS as my user. By the way Parrot OS is not supported by default in WSL. In a previous video I showed you how you can import any Linux distribution in WSL and we imported Parrot OS. So if you want to import your favorite Linux distribution in WSL as well, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Creating a snapshot of an existing WSL Linux distribution is actually really easy. There is a command for it. I will paste it in. This is the command. It's a bit longer, but I will walk you through. The command is called tar and we are creating the parrot.tar.gz file. This will be the final snapshot file. Then I'm excluding the proc folder and the sys folder, because they are generated anyway. And I'm also excluding the lost plus found folder. Probably you also have the same folder in your WSL distribution, but we don't need this one. Of course if you have some folders that you want to exclude as well, then you can do it using this dash dash exclude parameter as I'm doing here. Then I'm using this dash dash one file system parameter. And this one makes sure that mounted file systems are not archived. But be careful with this one, if you have for instance the home folder mounted from a different file system, then this folder will be excluded if you use this parameter. And I'm archiving everything that is under root as sudo. Now one very important thing, I'm executing this one on the E drive of my Windows system. And by using this one file system parameter, the E drive and everything that is inside of it will be excluded. So the snapshot file itself will be excluded. That's the important thing. Now enough talking, let's create the snapshot. Enter. Now depending on your WSL distribution size, this can take some time. Perfect, all done. Here is the snapshot file and it has around 6 gigabytes. Now you can put the file on an external hard drive as I did here. You can rename the file as you want, the name doesn't really matter. When the time comes and you want to use this snapshot, then you need to import it as a new WSL distribution. And that's what I will do next, I will import this one as a new WSL distribution, so I will have two identical copies of Parrot OS. First we need to create a directory for the new WSL distribution, so I will create one folder here, new folder, and call it Parrot2. Now open the terminal, here is my PowerShell terminal and I'm already inside the folder with my Parrot OS snapshot, and now write WSL dash dash import, then the name of the distribution, I called it Parrot2, then the name of the folder, Parrot2 as well, and the name of the snapshot file, parrot.tar.gz. That's it, let's import, enter. Import in progress, this may take a few minutes. Operation completed successfully, let's see what we have, WSL dash L dash V, 
Here is the original Parrot OS and here is Parrot number 2. Let's run it. WSL-D Parrot 2. Enter and run. I'm now logged in inside the cloned distribution Parrot 2 with my original user. So here is Parrot 2 and here is the original distribution. Let's check if everything is here. Let's see the home folder. Perfect. Also my home directory is here. Now the reason why I'm logged in with my original user is because if you look at etc slash wsl.com file. Now as you can see my default user is already set here. And this was also the case in my original Parrot OS distribution. So if for some reason you don't have this file or if it's empty, then write the following command. This one here. This command will set the default user inside your etc wsl conf file. And of course set the username to your user. And you need to execute this one as the root user. Now let's do one additional test. On the left side I have Parrot 2, the cloned distribution, and on the right side I have the original Parrot OS. Now I will open the home directory on both in its own file explorer. So let's do it. Now this is the original one and this is the cloned one. And now let's break the original one because that's why you do snapshots and backups. So let's do it. Is it responding? Yes it is. So I will do sudo rm dash r f v and root bye bye parrot enter of course it doesn't let you do something stupid like that without a special parameter so let's copy that paste it in second try enter and here it goes let's see if this is still responding looks like it is and now it's gone let's try to stop it can i open the file explorer again Command not found. So it's probably broken. Do I have ls? No. Can I log out? Let's try to log back in. No, doesn't work. The original Parrot OS is obviously dead. But if I look at the cloned one, here everything works as it should. Let's see the command line. ls is working. And it looks like that everything is still there. And that's why you should use snapshots, because you can import it back as it was. So I obviously don't need this one anymore. WSL-L-V. It still thinks that this one is running. All right. Let's terminate that. What's wrong with my spelling? Completed successfully. And let's unregister list again. And the original one is gone, but I still have parrots too. Basically, this one is the original. If you like the videos I make and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. Now, as I mentioned, I imported the original Parrot OS from a running Parrot OS distribution and this Linux distribution was actually running from a USB drive. So it was a full Parrot OS installation on a USB drive, it was not a live drive. So if you're interested how to run your favorite Linux distribution from a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, you also have a super thanks down there, where you can buy me a coffee for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.